All right, guys, this is Bank Nifty and H4 chart. Now we can see in a large time frame in H4, Bank Nifty is running in a downtrend. So we have seen there was a lower point. So recently they create a new low. So I wanna draw a supporting line. So I wanna connect most the recent success point. So here you can see most of the people are thinking, hey, this is a lower point. All right, yeah, it's a lower point, but the very rare tosses are there. They are, and in this level, we have seen more rejection. So if you wanna see in a small time frame like uh, 15 minute or H1, so here we have seen more passes points. So that is why I drawn as a support. Now let's see in a small time frame like uh, 15 minute. So here we have seen it was running in a downtrend, and the first we have seen price broke this 200 moving average. So in my previous video, I told that they are creating a head and shoulder pattern, right? And this is the head, and this is the uh, right shoulder. Sorry, uh, right shoulder, and this is the left shoulder, and this is the head, right? So it should look like that. And uh, finally, we have seen there was a neckline. So Actually, we have seen neck, neckline up forming by moving average 50. Oh, sorry, 150. Why? Because let me show you. Uh, they are respecting moving average 50, 50, and they, they form a neckline. Uh, most of the people are using sometimes diagonal fan line or horizontal fan line, and uh, some people are uh, using some moving averages. Now, here we have seen moving average act as a neckline. Uh, this is blue is 150 exponential moving average so finally we have seen the broke this level and price drop from this area and again price push up near moving average 150 and again drop from this area so according the price action method we have seen they are creating lower low lower high lower low and the lower high and uh, today we have seen price just open a gap up right somewhere like that gap up here this is the gap up so in that case we are expecting a price will again retrace toward this moving average somewhere will be here like that why because price is too far from moving averages right now so next the support we have seen around one six seven five zero that is our next support and right now price is running around one seven six three zero almost so here we have seen all right almost thousand point different from this point to this point and then now most of the people are thinking hey price just opening a gap down can i go for short my answer is no why because you can see price is too far from moving average when price is too far from moving average again push up toward moving average remember so here we have seen prices too far from moving averages. Somewhere moving averages are there. Again, price pulls down toward moving averages. Somewhere here we have seen prices too far from moving averages. Again, pulls up toward moving averages. So our sell entry point will be when price will push up uh, toward moving averages. So most of the people are thinking, hey, price will again retrace toward this level. It uh, happens sometime, but sometime what happened? Price just stay in a sideway like that and moving average automatically sloping down toward the price. So once they come, uh, come closer to this moving average, that will be our sell opportunity, remember. And once you enter for the sell, your target will be around 16,750. But next question is that most of the people are thinking or oh, can I go for buy? Uh, for the buy, we need a breakout in, the, in this case, or oh, we need an uptrend. Now we have seen our support are uh, too far from this price. Now price is here and the support is somewhere here, which is a little more far. So that is why we don't want to take any buy position right now. For the buy, we need an uptrend, right? You can see all moving averages are sloping down. All right, this is 20 moving averages. This is 50 moving averages. Uh, this is a hundred moving average. All right, this is 150 moving average, and here 200 moving average. So we have seen price are sloping down. Oh, sorry, uh, moving average are sloping down and arranging sequentially. So that is why we are not looking for short. Remember, 
we will enter for the buy if price hit this level and in this level they uh, if they appear any buy signal so then then we can go for buy that is called uh, counter trading or trade against the trend right so that method we are using above supporting level right above supporting level so now here you can see price is too far from this support that is why we are not looking for buy so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching